you've probably come across a lot of Christmas 3D animations that don't look good at all. If you are aiming to create smooth, realistic animations, then this video is for you. In this tutorial, I'll guide you step by step on how to properly animate a character in Christmas 3D. Previously, we talked about some essential principles of animations like squash and stretch, anticipation, and post to post action. In this video, we're going to put those principles into action and bring your animation to life. The first step is to import the Cosmo character that's available for free. Once you have your character in this scene, go ahead and set up everything. Now click on the plus button to create a new animation for the model. For this video, we are working on a jump cycle. I have prepared a reference image to help guide you through the process. It's always a good idea to animate with a reference. It makes the movement more accurate and realistic. Now, import the reference image as a texture onto a plane and let's get started. Now the poses you see on the reference image are the main key poses. We will animate them according to their timestamp. First, go to the keyframe timeline and then first pose will be at frame 0. You can use the keyframe button to set that pose as your starting point. Gently drag the leg as you can see on the screen. Set the leg properly and then also the hand, the waist and every other part of the body. Now go to the next frame, as you can see on the screen. The character makes an anticipation before taking the main action, like I have explained in the previous video. So now let's set the pose. Drag the character waist downward, downward, rotate it, also bend the neck yeah set the head do a little bit of adjustments now drag the leg backward as you can see on the reference drag it backward to the left a bit then also adjust the waist the feet yes. bend the neck a little bit set the head now the hand make it go up a little bit one thing you need to know is to understand the control of the character before making the animation if you don't know the control of the character there is no way to get this tutorial so i advise you you understand the control it's very simple so now now let's go to the second to the third frame which is 
frame on frame 25 the character is about to make the action the main action now adjust the waist just wash wash as i do it carefully adjust everything the waist the neck the leg and the hand to fit in with the reference Now let's move to the next frame, frame 40, okay, do a little bit of adjustment, frame 40, you can see that the character at frame 40 is on air. Now onto the next frame, frame 50. Now the right leg of the character should touch the ground at this point a little bit. Let it touch the ground a little bit. And then the left leg move forward a little bit or so.
this is the reason why you need a reference in animation you cannot make a perfect animation without a reference Now let's move on to the last frame which is at frame 57 Now the character is already on the ground at this point So drag the waist down, rotate it, also bend down the neck and the, the left leg move forward a little bit The right leg stays then do some adjustment the last frame as you can see looks like a spider-man pose do not rush take your time in making this animation because if you rush the animation will not be smooth and you may have to start again so you take your time to make this animation to practice these poses and then trust me you'll be satisfied at the end of practicing this tutorial And that's the end of um, the animation now let's move on to every other thing we need to do now if you play the animation you realize that the legs are not stable the legs are not stable it's moved down into the object which is not supposed to be so this the simplest way to do this is to use the pin point option click on the bone click on the leg bone and then use the graph edit option and then click on the pin point option do it for the next keyframe too and then do it until the leg is no more on the ground now you can see that the left leg is now stable now just do the same thing for the right leg play your animation and you can see that the leg is no more going into the object Do, do the same thing at this point use the pin point option so that the leg doesn't go into the object you see the leg goes into the object pin point and then pin point again Now if you play the animation you can see that the character is now moving very well.
that's the end of the animation but i'm going to do some adjustments which i don't think it's necessary for beginners so you can just keep this part and move on So that's the end of this video, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.